like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, y'all, I'm back with another flashback. This video features Tori, AKA Joy. Guys, I am still currently working on re-uploading all of my content back onto YouTube, adding my commentary so that I can meet the YouTube guidelines. This is why you guys are seeing so many flashbacks from my channel, but I can assure you that I'm staying on top of everything happening within Carbonation. Guys, please be sure to drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button, and share. All right, y'all, let's get into this video. I did anyway. I did it anyway. Welcome back. Welcome back. I didn't really have to end the live, I guess, but what's up, Azine? But I wanted to. Anyway, so we're going to answer this. Q we're going to do this Q&A. And y'all always ask me the same questions. The same questions. It's like, damn. That's all y'all think I'm about? I don't think I have any, any, any other type of wisdom. They always ask me the same shit, but it is what it is. We gonna, I'm gonna answer these questions. What's up, Azine? What's up, Azine? Thank you. I appreciate it. I was having a bad day. Well, not a bad day. I woke up feeling like, Bleh. so I was like, let me do my makeup today. And it did make me feel better. And then hubby came home with some goodies and we had fun. So yeah, we're gonna do some, we're gonna do it, do this Q&A, but I wanna, I wanna get the vibes right. I want some music. I want some, do I, like, is Instagram gonna turn this live off if I play music? You say you don't let us in on anything else. What do you mean? What is there to let you in on? What else is there to let you in on? That's what I'm, what do you mean? Listen, I got all the questions, okay? I got all the questions right here. If you ain't, I'm not, I'm not adding any more questions to all these questions. I might, but probably not. No, no. this one all right let's do it y'all i got i put all the questions on my on my ipad so excuse the light maybe, maybe i can turn it down that's better okay I, i'm blind y'all y'all no i can't see <laughs> let me clean my glasses i can't see ij will cut it off on playing music fine Come on, because I don't want y'all to be like, oh, she cheated. All right, y'all. Going ahead and drop me a comment. Smash the heck out of that like button and share. Thank you guys in advance. She cheated. She intentionally played music. Listen, I won't play music. Fine. Fine. Let me clean my glasses so I can see. I don't like to wear my glasses, like when I take pictures and stuff, just because I feel like it hides my face. But... I wear glasses. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do the easy questions first, and they may increase um, the consequences. I was gonna let y'all choose, but based on like the severity of the question, I mean, I, I'm not severity. We'll just go with it. Based on the probing of the question, then um, I'll probably take a little sippy sip. I'll take a little sippy sip. How about that? Nah, I'll probably we'll see. We'll see. With I'm, I'm very open. I'm not a scared. I'm not scared to answer any questions. So honestly, I don't think I'll be avoiding any questions. So I don't think there'll be any consequences. So let's just do it. We'll, 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 we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a bit. So, how tall are you? Y'all yeah, kept it pretty easy. How tall are you? I am five three. My favorite drink. Mmm, my favorite drink would have to be 
Um, I don't know. What is my favorite drink? Water? Water? Because I don't like buying juice. I don't like buying juice. So water. Spring water. My favorite school subject. So if we're talking about like high school, favorite school subject in high school would have to be uh, English and biology. And then when it comes to college, anatomy and English. Like, yeah. And it's crazy because I didn't do so good in anatomy, but that was just because of personal stuff. Like I was, I was not focused. I was procrastinating a lot. But other than that, I kept the book though. I did keep the book just so I could. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. My first kiss. Really, guys? You want to know my first kiss? That's what you're going to ask me? My first kiss was with someone named Rotten Rodney. That's what we called him. Rotten Rodney. And it's crazy how the kiss even happened from my yard. So I was playing jump rope. And I, I'm, look, I'm going to tell you all the story. So I was playing jump rope uh, with my sister in our yard. And the neighborhood... Our neighbors, neighborhood boys, came over and literally grabbed me from my yard and took me on the side of the house. And y'all know those little spiky things that fall out of the tree? They stuck them down the back of my shirt and he kissed me. That was my first kiss. Wasn't that a shitty experience? Anyways, yeah, that was my first kiss. Um, last. All right, y'all. For those of you who do not know, Tori, a.k.a. Joy, was in carbonation for I believe three years. She did leave once and go back once, but um, she ended up leaving permanently. She was in a relationship with Elihio Bishop, aka Nature Boy, aka Three God, and Velvet. At that time, they were doing the polygamy thing. She then started a relationship with Musa, aka Dalen. They had a child together, and she named her daughter Nubia, because at that time, he was going by Nubian. So, currently, she's doing excellent. She's married with two children now, you know, her first daughter and a son, and um, she seems to be happy. Last thing you ate, a burrito. A California burrito, no meat. I love, I love burritos. I like, got a thing for, for burritos. I eat a burrito any time of the day. Okay. Do you like fat cat? And then, I guess this is the same question. So, do you like fat cat? And then someone else asks me, dogs or cats? I like dogs. My celeb crush. I don't. Do I have a celeb crush? Do I have a celeb crush? My celeb crush would have to be I don't really I don't crush I don't crush on celebrities. Um my celeb crush would be um, Who's my celeb crush? Let me I'm trying to think of celebrities. Let me see. What, what what's considered a celeb? Listen, okay, I'm a pick. Never mind. I'll pick a celeb crush. Never mind. Let me look at let me look at my music. <laughs> I was gonna be easy and just be like, I'll say Kiana Lede. I, cause I love her music. Kiana Lede. Yeah, that's who we'll go with. Who's your worst enemy? I don't have, I like, for me, like, it's, I don't have bad blood with anybody. I feel like my worst enemy would have to be procrastination. That would be my worst enemy. Um, procrastination and overthinking. You're really attractive. Thank you. Do you have any piercings? I have my ears pierced. That's it. I didn't get into that whole, like, nipple, nipple, nipple piercings, uh, belly button piercings and all that. Like, anytime I saw somebody with their belly button pierced, and I looked at the hole, like without the piercing, I was just like, why is it black like that? <laughs> like, why is it so dark like that? And like, it made me not want to get it. And then when it comes to nipple piercings, like, I'm like, so you just going to have holes in your nipples on the side like that? 
And then you, what if you get like a keloid? Like it's, I couldn't do it. I think they're cute though. They're very cute. Never say never. Maybe, maybe I'll get one one day. I don't know. Name all of your exes. Like, and see, this is, this is why I, the, where the consequences would come in because it's like, I could do that. I could do that. I can name all my exes. I can name all my exes. It's like. All right, y'all. If you haven't picked up your copy of Greatness is a Habit, authored by Aaron Dixon, otherwise known as True. Many of you know him as True. He is an ex-carbonation member, and he's authored this amazing read. If you are interested in self-development and growth, this book is a good one for you. It's available on Apple Books for a dollar, guys. I got my copy and I love this book. That's easy. Sounds like a dirty belly. That's what I'm saying. Like all the all those belly button piercings look like look like a listen. Okay, so what should the consequence be? Because I don't I don't feel like doing that. Y'all gonna make me think. I don't feel like doing that. This is supposed to be fun. This is what I'm gonna I'm gonna need a drink. How about, how about I bust house? I'll do the push-up at the end. I'll do, I'll do five. I'll do, I'll do five push-ups for that one. Listen, we getting fit over here. Summertime is coming. I'm not finna drink nothing. <laughs> I'll do five push-ups. I'll do five push-ups. Is that cool with y'all? Five push-ups? All right. Sure it is. Name all your exes. Really? Have you ever given a hickey? Yes. And I love hickeys. I love hickeys. Like, maybe it's because I'm a Taurus moon, but like, kiss on my neck, please. Like, all that. All that. I love all that. Absolutely. Have you done drugs? I could just answer this with a simple yes or no, but I might give y'all a little story. Yes, I have done drugs. I've tried multiple drugs. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> okay. Have you ever skinny dipped? No, which is surprising to me. Like, I feel like for me, I'm a very spirit, free spirited, open person. I normally try everything, but I've never skinny dipped. Maybe just because I've never had the opportunity. I have streaked though. I definitely have streaked. That's like, that's not the same thing. Cause skinny dip is like in the water. Have you ever had a threesome before? Yes. Moving on. What is the one thing you've learned about yourself this year? I like this question. Uh, I was like, okay, should I leave this like surface level or should I be like vulnerable? Should I be vulnerable? Because I I could, I'll be vulnerable and I could tie this into what someone else asked me. Um, let me see. What did they ask me? Someone asked me, what have I learned being married? And someone also asked me, what, 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 what did I just ask? What is one thing you've learned about yourself? So I can answer both of those questions with this one. Um, I've learned, I feel like my, the best lesson, my major lesson that I've learned this year is that I am, I, I was codependent very codependent i always sought the validation in others i would look for validation in others you know that that whole if your mood changed around me i was constantly like analyzing every little detail of yeah codependent i had codependency issues yeah so that was the biggest thing i've learned and the biggest thing that i've worked through this past year year and some change honestly working on being more independent and secure in myself without the validation of others. I'm a hands talker. Are you happily married? Yes, I am. What? Oh, I answered that. Do you reply to DMs? I do. I do actually reply to my DMs. I don't reply to all of them. Um, just because sometimes it's a lot and then I have this bad habit you know, like how you can just click and it can show you like all your messages. And I feel like I'll, I'll answer a lot of them, but then I have this bad habit of deleting them after that. I'll delete all of them, delete all my, I'll delete all. Cause I feel like 
why not start new start anew let's start fresh i've already answered these people some of these people and then i want to clear the slate so i can let new new souls come in or whatever all right y'all going ahead and drop me a comment smash the heck out of that like button and share thank you guys in advance right so then i get to answer more people and it's not just the same but yeah i do answer my dms i do what do i use in my hair in my hair it's, it's been drying my i bought some cheap some cheap stuff from wally world but i use shampoo conditioner and then sometimes a deep conditioner and then like i'll use a deep conditioner like once a week if my hair feels really dry i'll do a hair tutorial for y'all i will um and then i like today I, with, with this i washed my hair and i put it in plaits and i use oil and that's it i don't put a lot of stuff in my hair just because i have low porosity hair and i can get build up very easily so i don't use a lot i don't i might put gel on my edges but even now i don't have gel on my edges i don't like to i don't really like to do all that all the time i feel like it's like a sometime thing for me products i keep to a minimum so there's not a lot of stuff i use in my hair and i got this one a lot do of course right do you miss musa no is musa involved no y'all ask me this like every year <laughs> like hasn't changed and it's not going to um do you miss the carbonation adventures no i don't like how ironic right why would i not miss being in a house with 20 different people not able to go anywhere without permission having to ask for everything Ugh. Why would I miss that? Come on. I felt like I was trapped in a cage when I was there. And I felt so low. Like I felt so I felt so low. I felt so sad when I was like in that in that. No, I don't miss it at all. I answered that. Answer that. Answer. Let me mark it off. Do I practice carbonation teaching slash watch videos? And I got this a lot because I made a video. I did a story where y'all heard I, I played um a carbonation song right and then there was like nature boy was talking in one of the songs no i do not watch the teachings i do not watch his videos but i do occasionally listen to the music because i like music i'm a taurus moon like i love that and then there's not a lot of in my opinion i haven't found a lot of good conscious music um so i do occasionally go back and listen to some of the songs but as far as um watching those videos no no it's bedtime ma'am i like noodles you like noodles noodles are good you ate the noodles uh -huh. okay well it is 10 44 and you should have been sleeping two hours ago so go get, go get in bed yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. bed Okay, they can be friends, and they can you can you can keep bear and pony. Go can get in bed, baby. Pony, please? Yep. Okay. Mm, so no to that, no. But I do occasionally listen to the music. Mm, I answer that. My biggest insecurity is that I'm not good enough. I feel like because I have this Virgo Mars. And I want to be perfect. And I feel like that's what stagnated me a lot with my goals. Um, is that what slow? Well, yeah, what stagnated me with goals is because, um, yeah, Woni is a great place for music. I think you like it. I'll check it out. Is that an artist or is that a place? Um, but I have a Virgo Mars, and it makes me a perfectionist. It makes me like Mercury is for thinking and processing thoughts. Your Mars, Mars and Virgo, me. Um, Mars is where you take action. My Mars being in Virgo, it makes me think about it again. And it makes me look at every little detail again, right? So that's what that's what tends to happen. It becomes like this cycle of me thinking, 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 thinking. But when I do do it, it's quality. So don't, okay. But I'm getting into, I'm getting into this phase now where I'm like, just do it and clean it up as you go. Don't worry about it. Live, 
live tour you play too much what does that mean what does that mean do you know me in real life How do you feel about how things turned out with Nature Boy? I feel like there was a part of me that, which is odd, there was a part of me that felt so bad for him. After knowing everything he's done, right? After seeing and witnessing and living everything that he's done, um, I felt bad for him. Um, but then I'm like, it's well-deserved. And I felt like if he, if if nothing did happen, it would have been very hard for him to actually have to sit and think and look at himself and what actually happened right why he's in the position that he's in now i wonder if he's actually like yo i really did hurt a lot of people i wonder if he's like that's how i kind of think about it i hope he, that he's taking the time to really think about how he's affected so many people in a negative way right and i think i think a lot that played into his demise don't shoot me for saying it had to be with surrounding himself with yes men you know when you only have one or two people in your reality telling you like, yo, that's not right. I.e. me and Velvet, you know, we're telling you like, yo, this is this is not cool. We shouldn't do this. But then 18 other people are telling you that it's cool and that this is OK and that they like this or they like that or whatever. Um, I feel like that played a part in his demise because he it just kept getting worse and it kept getting worse and it kept getting worse because everybody's telling you that it's cool. You could do no wrong, right? So, yeah. I think it was, what is it? What's that saying? It's a long time coming. I think, I think it's karma. I think he finally got his karma. Um, but yeah, I'll leave that, leave it at that. And I'm not saying like the people that, that were there that were saying like they were cool with shit are not victims because, you know, manipulation played a huge part into it. I'm not saying that. Don't take it the wrong way. But I'm just saying, I think that that had a, a part. Someone asks, are you still friends with Velvet? Um, Velvet and I, we do not talk. You know, we rarely talked after leaving Carbonation. We we talked, we actually talked more when I left Carbon, when we left Carbonation. But we don't talk like that. You know, she came to visit and that was great. You know, I got to see the babies and spend time with her and just really fill her out. And it was not, I didn't have any bad vibes, no bad energy from her. It's just like, we just don't connect on that level. So I don't have any beef for her. I don't have any bad, bad blood with her. And I wish her nothing but the best. That's that. My dream house. I feel like i'm in my dream house i can walk outside oh i wish there was like oh okay this house but a little bigger with with like like a reliable water source would be like great like a well or something that would be that would be dope that would be dope because i love like our home now it's like i can go outside in my backyard and the land is ours I can garden, I can run out in the woods, I can do whatever. And I love that. I love it. Somebody said the craziest pickup line that worked. I, I can attest to that. Her and her husband have a very nice home with a really nice backyard. I've been, you know, following her for a number of years to present. So I've seen, you know, different glimpses of things. I believe her husband is also ex-military. And um, they make a cute couple. I'm very happy for her. His pickup line that worked. I listen. You would expect there to like be like some... I don't know. I feel like for me, if I like you, I'm very forward. I'm very forward and very direct in my approach where I'll tell you like, I like you and I want you. I will tell you right you will definitely know so i feel like i don't really give leave the space for I, I didn't leave the space for for pickup lines i guess my husband he he gives i mean he does do a lot of pickup lines now he still does he's corny let me see he, i don't know it's a lot of in the windows it's a lot of in the windows what's up um but yeah i did i did your worst enemy right procrastination and overthinking and then my biggest insecurity i did that i'm like one of my biggest fears is failing failing 
And like, I'm really getting to this phase where it's like I said, where I'm like just doing it and cleaning up as I go and just learning the lessons as I do it versus like sitting here and pondering, constantly thinking I'm like, okay, I can do this. I can do that. I can do this. Planning out every little detail. And it's just like, if you never do it, if you never try, you'll never learn. And even if it fails, even if it fails, you've got the lesson from it and you can, you know, you can tweak it and you make your tweaks that way. So yeah. Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill. Let me see. Netflix and chill. Yeah, with my husband, I would do Netflix and chill. But I like, for me, I want to do something. And then that. Like, I like, I don't really like sitting down and watching TV all the time. I think it's so boring. Like, let's go do something spontaneous and then, and then fuck. I was going to clean it up, but whatever. This is my life. If you're uncomfortable, leave. Right? I'm, I'm learning to be more comfortable um i'm learning to be more comfortable going live and expressing myself sometimes i curse sometimes i don't okay but yeah i, I would love yeah netflix and chill sometimes but i would rather go i would rather like i would rather go paintballing and then fuck somewhere i'd rather go do something fun right that's what i'm saying um what's next for you oh wait What's next for me? Yeah, what's next for me? I have some stuff in the works. Y'all have heard me say that plenty of times, but I like, honestly, I'm learning to not, like I said, I have everything and now it's just like, now it's just like putting it out there. I'm literally finishing the final steps of it. So I'm not going to say what it is just because y'all are about to see it. Y'all are going to see it. So I'm not going to say too much. It's coming out this year. I'm done. I'm done. My hands are, I love it. It looks beautiful. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to release it. And we shall see, okay? It's coming. And my podcast, I'm going to take this, I'm going to take my podcast more serious. <laughs> Pain, exactly, paintball and chill. <laughs> um, but yeah, nobody wants to go paintballing with me. Everybody, everybody's like, it hurts. I always get bruises. I'm like, the point of going paintballing? It's to not get shot. I feel like if you want to, I'm that person that's like preparing for the end of the world. <laughs> I want, I want, yeah, right? So the purpose of to go paintballing is to not get shot. Don't get hit. This is real life. When we out here and we got these, these, these weapons and when this is the, t and we got our opponents, do not get hit. That's it. You get hit, you die. So avoid being hit, but take out the other team. It's that simple. Don't get hit. So if you go paintballing with me, you cannot be scary. You can't be scary and you can't get hit. I'm going to be looking at you like you're crazy. And you got to work as a team. Like you can't be, you can't go paintballing with me and then just be off on your own doing some, some rando shit. Like, no, we got to have a plan. Where's the structure? We, we want to survive this, right? I'm, I'm looking at it as real life. We want to survive this. Let's do it. Um, but yeah, I got distracted. What was the question? My biggest pet peeve. Oh, okay. What is all right, y'all, go on ahead and drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button, and share. Thank you guys in advance. This is my biggest pet peeve. Mm. I feel like it would be around communication. My biggest pet peeve would have to be centered around communication. The lack of communication, the way you communicate, like, that would be... That would be huge. Like that's that's one of my biggest pet pet peeves. If you don't know how to communicate, if you don't take the time to communicate, um, yeah, I feel like miscommunications is the start. Is like it can. It's like that. The what do they say? You make a mountain out of a molehill. I feel like that's the molehill, and it creates a bigger problem when communication is not effective. I, I oh, I also hate when people intentionally try and antagonize you and it's like you could be like really trying to come up with some type of solution trying, trying to resolve something and then uh, the other person just intentionally being an asshole i don't like that that's like why why are you doing that like why are you playing in my face don't do that i don't i got a lot of pet peeves i don't like when people think like i'm not a liar that's i don't like liars that's one of my pet peeves, somebody that's constantly lying because I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you how I feel and you can take it how you want to take it. I'm going to be as tactful as I can. I'm going to be as diplomatic as I can in my approach. But don't lie to me. I don't like when, like, for me, that's not, and this is why a lot of my, like, friendships didn't last. 
thankfully now I'm actually attracting a lot of people like this in my like me in my life now but I don't like having people around me that'll just tell me something you know just 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 be like a yes man I'll just be a yes man like because I'm the friend that if you're doing something wrong I'm gonna tell you like yo that wasn't cool or like yeah maybe not doing that like I'm that friend that's gonna be there and tell you some shit like that if you ask me a question I'm gonna answer it honest I'm gonna answer it honestly and I expect that same thing in return I don't like when people try and sugarcoat shit try and hide shit because I Honestly, like if I, if you really see some shit that I need to work on, if you really think, if you see something that's um, that's that's aiding in my demise, why not tell me that? And I I don't like people like that. That's one of my that's another big pet peeve of mine. And a lot of people, I, what I've learned too is a lot of people don't like that just because not everybody wants to grow. Uh, everybody's not ready to grow, and I'm not gonna judge anybody that's not ready to grow. But it's just like don't bring that around here because. We're not doing that over here. We're just not. Gonna do that. I think that's. I think that I have two more questions. Two more questions. Oh, there's not. This is not two two questions. How did that? Oh. How did they do that? See, I'm looking at it on my phone, but they have. It on, if I clicked on the Q and A on here, I'm glad I didn't click it on there because I'd be all up. There's new questions. How do you do newest first? Oh, someone said, where is Aaron and Sheba? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. How do you deal with this? If I'm not mistaken, I believe that Tori did this live and it was right around the same time that Aaron and Kendra removed their profiles from social media. How do you deal with difficult in-laws? That's a, uh, I don't have difficult in-laws, so I can tell you, I feel like just be respectful and love from a distance. I feel like you can just be respectful, try to resolve issues as, you know, as tactfully as possible, but not ever, some people just want to be a pain in the ass. So love from a distance. They don't have to be all up in your business, none of that. How have you been feeling mentally, emotionally, and spiritual since carbonation? Um, it was difficult for me at first, just cutting ties. But after that, um, mentally, now I feel more clear. I feel more clear, emotionally the same. Um, I feel on all levels, mentally, emotionally, and spiritual, I feel more clear. Um, I feel more like myself. Like before, I felt like a shell of myself. I felt so angry and confused before and i feel more at peace now i feel more at peace mm. i hope i i hope i answered your question i feel like i could have been more in depth with that but we'll leave it at that because it's a lot i didn't i didn't notice that i could pull this up right here you look amazing and so secure these days thank you i am working on being more secure within myself I got that one. How is married life? I, married life is not for the weak, okay? Married life is not for the weak. I feel like we all do this thing where, well, for me, I did this thing where I would get into relationships and after like maybe like a year or two, I would run. You showed me so many red flags and I feel like married life has taught me like unconditional love and not, yeah, not everybody's how can I say this? Because it could be vice versa. Let's just say that it could be vice versa when I say this, okay? Not everybody is going to grow at the same pace. And I feel like what happens when you get married is that one person can start growing and the other person is still at another level, right? Um, like I said, it could be me, it could be him, it could be, me, it could be him right? But I feel like in, in all marriages, what I've noticed is that people give up. They give up and they run and they divorce or whatever. But it's just like, you have your journey and your journey, like you're, you have to do what you're supposed to do. They're going to come into what they're supposed to do when it's their time. It may not be their time. And you're so fixated on forcing someone else to do and grow at the same pace as you. And that, that may not be what they need to do. <laughs> like I, That kind of like came out a little weird, but I hope you understood what I was saying. Where it's like, yeah, I feel like married life is great. Married life I love it. I love married life. I love being waking up and seeing my person 
and loving on my person and just I want to be listen I'm that person where I'm being your face all the time okay I love married life but I feel like like I said it's not for the week you definitely have to learn patience and compassion and being secure within yourself and that's why I've kind of like talked about a lot on my podcast is where you have to be secure within yourself before getting into a relationship and even if you're not see like me for example I learned that I was codependent when I got into my marriage right um but it's like I said, even if you don't, if you if you're in a relationship right now, you don't have to run. But it's just having that security within self, learning to be secure within yourself before getting into a relationship or even while you're in it, learning that, working on that. Because, um, yeah, that causes a lot of problems. I feel like it could cause a lot of problems, cause a lot of distractions. All right, y'all, going ahead and drop me a comment. Smash the heck out of that like button and share. Thank you guys in advance. What were you searching for when you went to Carbonation? Are you still searching for that? Why or why not? Um, I thought it was a sustainable community. I thought we were going to be building something. <laughs> I, thought, I thought we were going to be building something. And like literally, like before I, the, my second to last time before leaving, because my last time was, I was on the mission. I had to get my baby paperwork and my passport and all that shit, right? But my second time before leaving, I literally asked him. I was just like, oh, what is the plan? Because we keep doing the same cycle of hopping here, hopping there, hopping there. What is the plan? And this man sat there and played on my face. Inshallah. Inshallah. And stop playing with me. Like, don't do that. What are we doing? Where's what's the end goal? Where's the goal? So for me, I came here thinking that we're gonna have, we're gonna be growing food, we're gonna be learning self sustainability, we're gonna be living in tune with nature. And don't get me wrong, we were. We were living in tune with nature, we were vegan. But it's just it was just wasn't for me. Okay, it was a lot of it was a lot of different shit, different shit going on. Um, I answered that. Oh, thank you, appreciate it. Let me. Your hair looks great like this. Okay, let me because I got a lot of comments after I straightened my hair. Um, I straightened my hair for a purpose. I get the whole. I get the whole. Don't straighten your hair. Wear your hair in its natural state. Blase, blase. And after I cut off, the, so the first picture y'all saw with my hair straightened where it was a little shorter, I actually got my, I got a silk press because I combed out my locks. I had locks and I combed them out. And of course, combing out locks can be a damaging process. So I'm like, I need to make sure I, I removed all of this dead hair or whatever to, so my hair isn't continually breaking off, right? So after I combed out my locks, I went to a professional got my hair straightened so she could see clearly what was going on with my hair, trim off any dead ends or whatever. Luckily, I, I was very into with my hair and I didn't damage my hair. So I was actually able to retain a lot of length after combing out my locks. But after that, I got my hair straightened again because me, when I was natural, I never let anybody touch my hair and I was cutting my own hair. And after going to that professional, I saw how choppy my hair was. So I started going to a professional so I'll get my hair completely straightened just so we can work on getting it even. And not everyone knows how to straighten your hair while it's curl. I'm sorry, knows how to cut your hair while it is in its natural state. Um, and for me to trust a hairdresser, I would like to see clear clearly what you're doing. In my natural state, it might look normal if this piece is up here and you cut it like that until it actually is in an, an until it is straightened and I see that it's not so it's me building trust with hair with, with hairstylist the last hairstylist I went to I actually would not go back to her I wouldn't no shade uh, yeah anyways but that's why I straighten my hair I'm trying to even out my hair one because it's super choppy yeah <laughs> it's super choppy but it's getting better it's getting better and yeah I like I like to make sure that and, and I don't maintain it because a lot of people ask me um, as well what I do to my hair to keep my hair. When I go and get these silk presses or whatever, I do not maintain the straight hair. I'm not like I get it straightened and that's it. And once my curls start reverting back, I'm not going to straighten it again. And I feel like that would cause more damage for all of y'all that are natural and are trying to maintain healthy hair. Do not do not straighten your hair. Don't do it multiple times. I know it could seem like a waste of money, but honestly, it's not in my it's not in my opinion. If you know how to maintain your silk press, then do it. For me, I do it for a purpose. So I don't care if my silk press only lasts a week because my hair is healthy at the it's healthy at the end of the day. Oh, right here. Thank you, mom. 
No question, but you look stunning. I appreciate you. I answered that. Are you truly in love with your husband? With your husband? Yes, I am. I answered that. Oops. Did I? I'm trying to like delete the ones. What is your son's name? Dane. What's your ideal trip with you with the family? We're actually planning some road trips right now. Like, I would love to Here go. matches for with the family. Siri, no. But yeah, I would I would love to do like do a road. We're planning some road trips right now. I would love to. We're going plan on going to Georgia and somewhere else. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it because I don't like. When I don't like people knowing my moves like that all the time. But yeah. Um Yeah. My ideal trip would be like a a road trip. Do some go on like a trail. Somewhere like where there's like we can go on a nice trail, like a hike. Um some good food. Some good food. Be surrounded by good people, good lives. My baby's having fun, you know, newbie is getting to participate in whatever she wants to do and have fun with that. That's my ideal thing. Just while we're all having fun and enjoying ourselves. I don't care what we're doing as long as we're not trapped in a room or whatever. Right? And we're in nature. Would you ever go back to a group that actually lives, like they say, in nature and in peace? Um... I I would not. I I don't think I have to be in a group. I feel like if like for example, if like we're neighbors, cool and we can hang out every now and again. But as far as like a, a like being in that type of situation, no. But yeah, that's all the questions. I think I answered all except for one. And I'll do the push-ups. I'll do the push-ups for them. Fine. Fine. I'm going to end this live and then I'll do a story of me doing the push-up. Because I'm not going to try and move the camera and all that right now. Then you're going to see my laundry. No, I'm just kidding. It's not, it's, it's not laundry. It's, dirt, it's hangers that I have to throw out. But yeah, I'll do these push-ups and I'll post them. Whatever. I said five. I'm not doing more than... I'll do ten just because I didn't work out today. So, I'll do ten. I'll do ten push-ups. Really? Whoever asked that question. Really? But thanks for joining me, y'all. This was fun. Keep it... All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video as well as my commentary. Please be sure to drop me a comment. Smash the heck out of that like button and share. Guys, I want to give a big shout out to all of my new subscribers. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. To all of my OGs, my day ones, my ride or dies. Y'all already know what it is. Big up yourself. We in the building with it.